Hi everybody and welcome to part two of this special gluten-free homemade hot pockets. Enjoy it. All right, so we're gonna start out by working with our pizza dough. Um, if you don't know what this dough is, I refer to the card that should be coming up here about with the Neapolitan pizza episode. We'll put some mozzarella down. This is basically, I'm, the way I think of these is a big ravioli. You can't really quite make these like a calzone because they need to maintain their shape and you can't have as much air between the layers. So I'm effectively making a pepperoni uh, pizza ravioli here. <laughs> and I'm gonna to attempt to put a lid on this guy with another piece of dough. Uh, as you'll see here in a second, this does not go very well, <laughs> but <laughs> it tasted really good. Uh, it just looks like absolute crap. So <laughs> we will move on from here. And from this point, I'm just gonna, you know, continue seasoning, put some cheese on the top and put some dock marks in there with fork so you can get some steam out and then put some seasonings on the top. I'm using our de Provence here and we're going to throw this into our 450 degree oven. All right so here's attempt number one uh, but I can do better than that. So we're going to we're going to throw this guy in the freezer anyway and see how it comes out. All right, so the second attempt is gonna be much, much quicker. I'm gonna go ahead and measure the size there. And this is gonna be ham and cheese. I'm using some cheddar, mild cheddar there. And I've got some ham out of the freezer. Uh, excuse me, that's the refrigerator because apparently I can't remember what's on top and what's on the bottom. <laughs> so this is some smoked ham uh, I'm gonna dice up. And you can see that little bag there, that's some shredded uh, four cheese blend uh, that I think is gonna work pretty nice in there. Now, just to let you guys know, I did do another one after this that turned out absolutely perfect, and that's going to be at the end. But this is the basic same concept. This one was almost exactly right. You can see I got the size better here, and I'm going to roll this out. And what I figured out after this second one was that putting a double thick layer of dough on the top was the key uh, to making sure they don't leak and to get soft and golden brown before uh, they burn in the oven uh, and or the microwave when you heat them up again. So uh, I'm gonna finish uh, this guy and throw him in our oven. And again, we're cooking these about, we cook these about 75, 80% of the way through in the oven, just until they're a little golden brown on the top. And once we get to that point, we take them out, stick them in the freezer. Uh, I put these in overnight. Uh, so I'm gonna show you here what that looked like the next day as we eat these guys here in a bit. And, all right, see you soon. All right, out of the freezer, straight into the microwave. Let's see how this works. All right, so we're gonna eat our Hot Pockets. You just saw me take it out of the microwave. Here we go. Mmm. <laughs> oh, it's hot. Absolutely delicious though. My pizza dough makes this nice and soft and um, perfect ham and cheese crust. Absolutely delicious. Thank you guys, you have yourselves a wonderful day. I hope you enjoy it.